want to bring you back. I want to bring you back up to speed on what I'm reading, and it sets me on fire. Patrick Henry, give me liberty or give me death. Mark 23rd, 1775. He goes on to continue to say this. Now, Patrick, this dude was a man. You understand me? He was a man that wasn't afraid to die for what he believed in. Not afraid. Because he knew he was standing on the greatest soul on the earth. And he knew that he had belief about what was about to take place, that he was fixing to be free, no matter if it cost him his life. Ain't that something? Don't be a lily livered coward, too scared to stand up. Don't be afraid to join hands with a liberal for the right cause, for the truth. Did you hear me? Don't be afraid. Listen. It ain't that we ain't all got some fear. It ain't fear that stops you. But it's you that stops you. See, faith is going on and doing the right thing in spite of fear. That's faith. You hear me? Faith. Believing in something is going on and doing the right thing in spite of the fear that surrounds you. And guess what? The more you do the right thing, the less that fear's got a hold of you until one day you wake up and there ain't none on you. It's dissolved because you did what was right and you listened to the truth and told the truth and spoke the truth and lived the truth. Let me read on for a minute. He says, uh, Sir, we're not weak if we make a proper use of those means. Which the God of nature hath placed in our power, the millions of people armed in the holy cause of liberty, and in such a country, is that which we possess are invincible by any force which our enemy can send against us. Besides, sir, we shall not fight our battles alone. There is a just God who presides over the destinies of nations and who will raise up friends to fight our battles for us. The battle, sir, is not to the strong alone. It is to the vigilant, the active, and the brave. Did you hear that? There is no retreat but in submission and slavery. The chains have already been forged for the Americans. Listen to me. He, re he, re he said that. And I'm telling you that today there have been chains of slavery already forged and already built and waiting for you. Not for me. Because I'll die before I'll be enslaved. But think about it. How'd you like to wake up? How'd you like to wake up one day with your door kicked in, four o'clock in the morning, and they say, it's, you know, things have changed. We gotta take you. We gotta do this, we gotta do that. You know, we heard you speaking against the government. We heard you in your dissent, and we don't have any room for that, but yet the Constitution says we do. And I know a lot of you sitting there thinking, man, this dude is so loony. No, it's just that you're loony, and I'm telling the truth. You see, <laughs> and I ain't worried about it. You understand me? I'm telling you the truth that is around the corner. I bet you never thought you had cameras at your red lights. That's against the Constitution, too. But it's all, oh, it's all oh, because of security. Fool butter. No, it's not. No, it's not. It's so they can make more money. Just if you happen to run through that song gun while it's yelling, turning red, and they, they got them when they, they change faster and faster. So they can send you a ticket in the mail. Don't be stupid and think it's because of, of uh, uh, security. No, it's not. It's Big Brother so they can keep a watch on you. You understand me? And everything you say and do is everywhere. And let me tell you something. Any 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 uh, American with blood flowing through their veins is still alive ought to know and believe that that camera ain't gonna stop the crime. Did you hear me? And guess what? On a lot of the cameras, they may promote it on them uh, cop shows or whatever because of the camera they caught them, but more than not, they don't. Did you hear me? But you get out there with a camera and you and you film injustice by your government or you film injustice by a police officer and they'll shove that camera back and tell you to turn it off. Can you believe that garbage? Yeah. See, they're on a power trip, man. They're on a power trip. But what's going to happen is going to trip over their own power. I prophesy that. Because American people is going to get sick to death of it. And like I said, we have very good policemen. We have very good preachers. And we have very good politicians. And we have very good doctors. But they are few and far between. They are very, very, very few and far between. They are scarce. They are more scarce than gold is. And we don't have any more gold left here in America. They just stole it and took it. The Federal Reserve just stole it through charging the government interest. 
Your gold and my gold of our forefathers. Ain't that something? Listen. He says, there is no retreat in submission and slavery. Our chains are forged. Their clanking can be heard. The clanking of the chains can be heard. Every time you hear one of them idiots, think tanks, or whatever, politicians, rattling that chain. They're rattling the chains of liberty, they say, but they're really rattling the chains of slavery. Shackles on your feet and on your hands. Oh, come on, little citizen. Let me lead you like the little dog you are. So God can make you be a slave and work, work, work till you die where we can take most of your money in taxation and we can live like the big dogs. I know y'all think this is crazy tonight, but it's the truth. It's the truth. And I've just had enough and I hope and pray to God in heaven that you'll get enough and that we can get this thing rolling before they even turn us off the internet. And then we don't have a voice of freedom anymore, do we? Let me read on. Their clanking may be heard. The war is inevitable. And let it come. I repeat, sir, let it come. Do you hear this dude? Do you hear this man? Now I'm going to tell you something. This man said, bring it on, Jerome. He said, let it happen, ski cap. You hear what I'm saying to you? Bring it on. Let's get the liberty started. Let's get the Liberty Train. All we can do is buy a ticket and get on the Liberty Train. And whatever the conductor tells us to do, that's what we got to do. And the conductor is you and is me and is every uh, uh, independent thinking American citizen that's had enough of this garbage. Less government and more freedom is what we need. I, I, I feel led right now to say something. When I was saying that about that war a while ago, I want you to understand something. I'm not a flip-flop out of the uh, water of John Kerry, okay? Fish out of the water. I support an American citizen that will sign up for the naval forces, the armed forces, whatever they may be, whatever branch of service it is, and to do what the commander-in-chief tells them to do. It's the commander-in-chief and the politicians I've got the problem with. You understand me? Let me make that real clear right now. Let me make it clear. Some will bash the, uh, the armed forces. They're doing what they're told to do. But here's the thing, me and you ain't in the army. You understand me? We ain't we ain't we ain't in the army. We but we are we are we are in a in a in an American phase of a revolution right now. So thereby we are civil. We are civil soldiers. And we got a duty to do for one another where it promotes freedom, where it promotes the good of mankind, where it don't promote tyranny and a police state. That is where you and I have to rise up. They're overseas, dying left and right. For what? They think for freedom, but no, it's for fascism. And they don't know any better. I don't blame them. I don't blame them. Just like Rome had to put armies all over the earth. Standing armies is what they needed. And Rome collapsed. If we don't stand up now, this is the time, 10 minutes to midnight, collapse comes America. Rome part two, baby. I done told you on another video back about uh, a revised Roman Empire that we're part of it, son. You got an East and a West. You got a religious and a governmental. Did you hear me? And we are the revised Roman Empire. Don't believe me? Let me get on that horse wagon for a minute, but let me finish up what this man said first. Now I'll get on it in a minute. Let me finish this up. I'm about to run out of time again. Uh, let me get right here. Bear with me. He said, let it come. I repeat, sir, let it come. I got just a little bit more and I'm going to be... See right here? Just a little bit more and I'm going to quit on him. It says, it is in vain, sir, to exonate the matter. Gentlemen may cry, peace, peace, but there ain't no peace. See, and even, even, even the Bible said that. Listen to this. They'll cry, peace, peace, and safety, but sudden destruction. See, they think they're telling you, peace, peace through security. Peace, peace through staying in Iraq. Peace, peace through Afghanistan. I'm telling you, there ain't no peace and there ain't no security. We, we the American people, have to take our nation back in order for man to be prosperous, in order for man to have life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. I'm about to run out of time. i got to roll here. Hold on. The war is actually begun. Our brethren are already in the field. Why stand we here idle? What is it that gentlemen wish? What would they have? Is life so dear or so peaceful or so sweet as to be purchased at the price of chains and slavery? Forbid it not! Almighty God, I know not what course others may take, but as for me, I want you to spread this thing. As for me, give me liberty or give me 